This is Trend Following Radio, where great thinking comes alive. Nobel Prize winners, legendary traders, best-selling authors, and the pros that know what drive us irrational human beings. I am your host, Michael Covell. Not filtered, raw, honest. That's my passion. A first for me. I have been suspended from a social media platform. One of the big ones, if not the biggest. Apparently a one-day suspension. Now you might say, what did I do to get this one-day suspension? Hold on for a second. I've been doing this podcast since 2012. I've made a film. I've written six books, arguably more if you look at the different editions. I probably sold over a half million books. 10 million plus listens on this podcast, seven Nobel Prize winners on this podcast, thought leaders across the gamut on this podcast. Do I throw flames? Sure. I throw flames at assholes. I throw flames at hypocrisy. I throw flames at lunatic censoring pricks. That's the setup. That's who I am. I've been doing it for a long time. I've got a little bit of a track record in terms of this talking and conversing and having multiple points of view on this podcast. So in October 2021, I linked to an article on this social media platform and the link went to the American Journal of Therapeutics, not some fly-by-night operation, a serious intellectual, academic place. The American Journal of Therapeutics. The headline, Ivermectin for Prevention and Treatment of COVID-19 Infection, a Systematic Review, Meta-Analysis and Trial Sequential Analysis to Inform Clinical Guidelines. That was the, the headline. Quite academic, right? The abstract, the conclusion, quote, moderate certainty evidence finds that large reductions in COVID-19 deaths are possible using ivermectin. Using ivermectin early in the clinical course may reduce numbers progressing to severe disease. The apparent safety and low cost suggest that ivermectin is likely to have a significant impact on the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic globally. No comment was added with me, but I got a strike for that. I linked to this serious journal about a serious study And I got a strike. I did not really understand it was a strike at that time, but apparently it was. Now, what the fuck does a strike mean with this social media platform? I have no idea. I don't really care, but it was one. So roll forward about three months and me, I linked to another study yesterday, an academic study again. This was from JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, which is a peer-reviewed medical journal published 48 times a year, and I don't know how many decades it's been around, a long time. And it said myocarditis cases reported after mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccinations in the U.S. from December 2020 to August 2021. That was my second strike. Now, apparently, for this social media platform, two strikes and you're out. So I was suspended for a day. And apparently my post will be lowered to the news feed for 30 days. You're next. And if you don't think you're next, you're a bloody fucking idiot. A bloody fucking idiot. Now, apparently the links to these two articles violated community standards, which also means absolutely fucking nothing. What they should have said was, Mike, you're linking to information that could possibly affect our bottom line in a negative way because we make money from big pharma advertisements. They didn't say that, but that's what's going on. Now, you might be listening and you're thinking, well, okay, I've heard this story before, Mike. What does it have to do with anything? It has to do with you because they're coming for you next. Look, I just had on this podcast, John Abramson, been on the faculty at Harvard, Harvard Medical School for 25 years. Episode 1046. Check it out. Now, if he's saying essentially what I'm saying, which is 
Let's have an open discourse. Let's put it all on the table. But then over here, you've got these Borgs that are controlling information. Look, I took enough law classes to understand what free speech is. I took enough law classes to understand the limits of free speech. You don't go run into a theater and yell fire. There's things you can't do when it comes to free speech. Now, I can hear my liberal friends out there right now, but Mike, it's a private company. You have to follow the rules. Oh, shut the fuck up. There are no goddamn fucking rules. And you know that. It's all being made up. So don't be a lemming and support the big pharma companies just because you're freaking on that side, that political side. Take a stand. Because guess what? You might sit there today and you might support the idea of limiting my speech my right to free speech, you might support it today. Guess what, motherfucker? They're coming for you next. And if you don't understand that, you're bloody crazy. Look, everyone's seen what's happened with Joe Rogan in the last week. I've actually seen him do, I guess you could call apologies. I'm not sure what he's apologizing for. He hasn't done a damn thing. I mean, this world is going to be divided into camps. You're going to be divided into a tribe. And your truth is going to be what tribe you're in. You're not going to be allowed to think. Clearly, they want to take your ability to think away. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what does this have to do with me, Mike? I'm not like you posting some opinion about some high-level medical issue. The issue is control. The same people, the same system that is controlling your ability to speak on healthcare. You think they're going to stop there? I have to consider, I have to start to think there's a possibility that my ability to speak about markets and investing and strategies, why should I expect that will always be there? Why should I expect that opportunity to be there in the future? If these mad motherfuckers, if they are willing to limit my speech simply from linking to articles Actually, not even articles, linking to studies. One of the damn studies, the second one that got me suspended, is a damn CDC study. This is the American government. So I link to the American fucking government, and a social media platform bans me and tells me it's against community standards. Again, you might be saying to yourself, oh, Mike, there must be something special about you. You're something uh, crazy or whatever, and listen to your voice, and you're all, you're all amped up. Actually, I'm not that amped up. I can see where this is going. It's clear where this is going. We are either heading towards a major conflict, perhaps only intellectual, perhaps physical, I don't know, but we're heading towards a conflict or we are heading towards a state, a system, a form of control that takes away your ability to think. And if you don't understand that at this moment in time, you've already lost it. I mean, if they could take your ability away to even link to a government report about this current pandemic, why can't they take away your ability to link to an article on trend following? Why can't they take away your ability to read what Jerry Parker has to say or any other trend following trader? Why can't they ban books? Why can't they burn books? Now, I've noticed in this recent debate, a lot of people say, well, but Joe Rogan, he's got to show the other side. He's got to take responsibility. He's having a conversation. Free speech in America was long decided a long time ago. He doesn't have to do any of that shit. Because what you're really asking him to do is to purposefully confuse the issue. Because if you purposefully confuse the issue... Your side, the shitty side, wins. And everyone knows, two years into this pandemic, it's not a pandemic of the Chinese. It's not. This is an American pandemic. The fear, the cures that have not exactly worked, this is coming from America. The obesity. This is America. We took the fattest country, In the history of humanity, which was clearly the number one reason why you died during this time period, 
And we said to the rest of the world, you must follow our lead. So even if you were not a country of major fat asses, you had to follow the lead of America. Again, this is not a Chinese pandemic. I don't even care where this virus came from as of right now. Why should I? Because what's happened since the virus has come out, American behavior is horrible, absolutely horrible. And that horrible behavior is leading the world. Now, for those of you that are still with me, what's the pivot? Because we can't stop this stuff. I mean, some people will argue that in America you can still vote and that maybe you can vote out some of these tyrants. But you have to look at the possibility that there is no chance to do anything. That all of my animated antics today, my ratcheted up voice, is for naught. That all you could do is try to ride it the best that you can. Now, everyone has to make personal decisions when it comes to their health care. But everyone has to make personal decisions when it comes to their money and investments as well. So what are you going to do in the face of all this madness? Are you going to trust the system? Like I'm supposed to trust the system. I'm not supposed to say anything. I'm not supposed to link to any articles. I'm not supposed to link to any healthcare articles from the United States government or I will be banned. And likewise, if you don't buy and hold, will you eventually be penalized? Will you have your rights taken away from you if you don't buy and hold? Well, you already do a little bit. I get the emails from people. They want to talk about their retirement accounts. The retirement accounts have restrictions. So people around the world can't do certain things with their retirement accounts. They have to keep the strategy in the safe space of the strategy as designed by the people that also designed the limitations on my free speech that I'm talking about today. You see, this is all connected. It's all connected. And the question you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do to escape it? And can you escape it? Probably not. Most people are locked in. Most people are posting a pic of grandma on Facebook and just looking at their accounts in the U.S. when it comes to equities and saying, oh my gosh, honey, don't tell anybody how much money we've made and buy and hold. Not even pondering for the moment that it could drop 75%. Not even pondering for the moment. As I've said, there is one strategy, one market strategy across the world that everyone is using and everyone loves because they've been rewarded with it. And this is buy and hold. But what will you do when the shit hits the fan? And hey, is the shit not already hitting the fan? Is it not already? Let me just keep driving home this point. If they can ban your speech, if they can ban your ability to communicate, they could do anything to you. Anything and everything. They can easily take your money away. They can easily ban you. So the trick in all of this, my food for thought today, and I'm so happy about this, my first suspension. The first suspension in my lifetime from simply talking. And I'm saying linking to medical journals is talking. It's a form of speech. And for that, I'm suspended. I'm sure some of you think, well, Mike's mad. He's agitated. I don't know. Not really. I'm sad more than anything. I have a very good ability to look forward to the future. And I have a good feeling for where humanity is moving towards. It's not a good feeling. Like for me, myself, personally, I feel fine. Friends and family, I feel fine with all of that. But the big picture of where we're going is not pretty for most people. Now, maybe most people will never know. Like the lobster in the pot. They're in the pot. It's cold water. They turn the flame on. The lobster slowly dies. Lobster really never knows. It's just getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And then one day, lobster, dead. I think the only reason people listen to me is I'm kind of like your conscience. I don't think I'm any brighter than you. I think you know what I know. I think we're all on the same page. We know there's a major, major problem. And it leaves us with two issues. What can we do about it, if anything, when it comes to something like speech? And perhaps even more importantly... 
what can we do with our money in a time like this? Obviously, I make the case that when it comes to volatility, when it comes to uncertainty, when it comes to having zero trust that what we know is true today will be true tomorrow, a strategy such as trend following that doesn't need to know any of that is your best case because trend following will put you on the side of movement, the side of where the crowd is going. The crowd might be wrong. But at least you can stay solvent. At least you can pay your bills. At least you can eat. At least you can take a trip. At least you can have a little fun. At least you got some money in your pocket. This is the name of the game. So if anybody wants to try out how to get banned on social media platforms, again, the two articles that got me banned, and I simply linked to them. The first one, Ivermectin for Prevention and Treatment of COVID-19 Infection, a Systematic Review, Meta-Analysis, and Trial sequential analysis to inform clinical guidelines. That was in the American Journal of Therapeutics. That was the first strike. The second one, again, if you just want to try this to get banned yourself, I mean, don't be a pussy. Go get banned. Why not? Here's the second one. Journal of American Medical Association. The article, myocarditis cases reported after mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccination in the U.S. from December 2020 to August 2021. Don't let me be the only one to have fun. Now, I know some of you are already sitting there right now. You shit your pants. You're scared to death. You won't try this. Now, I know a lot of you freaks out there are already trying it. You've probably already been banned before me. So I surely don't think I'm any special in terms of being banned or blocked or whatever the hell they've done to me and whatever the hell I come back. We live in weird times. And in weird times, when you can't predict the future, you need a mindset. You need a strategy. You need to prepare. If you're not, you're going to take it. You're going to take it hard. It's not going to feel good. And they surely won't be nice about it when they give it to you. They're just going to come in the room and they're going to tell you, bend over and grab your ankles. And then for all of you that know something about it, you're hearing in the back of your mind, Ned Beatty squealing like a pig in deliverance. It's kind of what they're doing. So give it a fight. Give it a punch back. Don't just sit there and take it like they want you to take it. Find a way around the system. Hey, that's the only way you can be happy. I see a time when those awake will understand how to make money in up, down, and surprise markets. Whether new trader or experienced, college student or financial advisor, protecting against a crash or just trying to make a lot of money, Trend Following offers everyone an answer in uncertain times. To get started immediately, send me an email, michael at covell.com. I will send you the right trend following steps to take along with my free video. But if you want to buy and hold, Trust the government and trust Wall Street. This is absolutely not for you.